A cat as loyal as Hachiko. He lived in a burnt-down house for 1.5 years and waited for his owners to return. The cat survived thanks to caring neighbors who brought him food. This story happened in the city of Zlataust. A ginger cat named Hachiko lived on the site of a burnt-down house for 1.5 years, hoping that his owners would return for him. Unfortunately, this was impossible, as they died in the fire. Thanks to the neighbors, who did not remain indifferent to this story, and looked after the cat all this time. Every day they brought him food, and someone built a small house out of plywood for him, so that he could sit out the bad weather there. Unfortunately, no one wanted to take the cat for themselves, as each household had enough of their own pets. Everything changed with the appearance of a volunteer from Chelyabinsk, named Svetlana Saprovskaya. She placed the cat in a veterinary clinic, and in the meantime, she began looking for new owners for him. The cat was looking for his owner among people passing by. The cat used to have a large family. His owner, named Natalia, had three children, an older 17-year-old daughter and two small children. On the night of the fire, Natalia and her older daughter were sleeping at home. They died in their sleep, and the younger children were sleeping with relatives that night. After the incident, they were placed in a baby home. The cat managed to survive. But he did not leave the burnt house, but stayed there to wait for his owners to return. Every day, the neighbors observed the same picture. How the cat, seeing school children returning home after school, runs towards them, meowing loudly. He was looking for his owner among them. This story became known throughout the country. After examination at a veterinary clinic, the ginger cat was found to have an infection in his eyes and ears, so he was left there for treatment. At this time, the volunteer began looking for new owners for Hachiko. She posted information about the faithful animal on social networks. Many people came to see the cat, and very soon the number reached 10,000 people. Local media also joined in disseminating information. Svetlana's phone did not stop ringing for a minute. Each caller claimed that Hachiko should be given to him. There were cases when, as a result of refusal, people stooped to thunderstorms. People wishing to take the cat called from all over Russia. Also, all regional animal shelters wanted to take the cat. But Svetlana wanted to find a loving family for Hachiko. The volunteer is sure that people are driven by emotions. And when the hype dies down, many will change their minds. Svetlana wants to give Hachiko to good hands because he has already suffered enough and needs care and love. The woman is sure that such a person will soon be found.